In this video, we'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a super strong wooden trellis for your climbing plants. Watch the video till the end because I'll be sharing with you a few other simple, easy trellis ideas. Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Assalamu alaikum. So without further ado, Dad, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Before you start building your trellis, you need to decide what's the purpose for the trellis. Now the purpose for our trellis is to grow annual vegetable plants such as bottle gourd, uh, khodu. Now khodu are large fruits. We can grow, with the, the type that we grow, it can actually grow up to one meter long. So we need something strong to support the bottle gourd plant. Step number one for building a wooden trellis. Choose a location to install the trellis. Choose a location where there's plenty of sunlight, preferably south facing, so there's plenty of sunlight. You need to have at least six to 10 hours of sunlight to, to do well with your bottle gourd. So location is so important. Step number two, decide if you want your trellis permanently kept in one place, or if you want a portable trellis, which can be moved around your garden. Step number three, take measurement of the space you want to build the trellis on. Then decide on the size of the trellis that you want to build. The length, the width and the height. We kept our trellis a little bit low because it's right in front of our kitchen windows and we didn't want it right in our faces. So we kept it a little bit low. Now, preferably you want to build a trellis head height, so the fruit that hangs is not touching the ground. Uh, the trellis that we built is uh, 1.2 meter. This is high enough for the khodu to hang and it won't be touching the, touching the ground. But the only problem is we have to lean, bend down to go under the trellis. So that could be a problem if you build it too low. Now, once you have decided on the size of the trellis that you want to build, you want to measure the correct amount of timber uh, that you want to order. Make sure to use treated timber, they will last you longer. If you use untreated timber, they will rot after a few years. Now this is how we, we have measured the amount of timber that we needed. The size of our trellis is uh, two meter in length and one half meter in width and 1.2 meters in height. So we needed four legs and we needed four timbers for the length. One at the top, one at the bottom, times two. And we needed two timbers to go across, which is for the width. One at the top, one at the bottom, that's times two. So four legs, four timbers for the length and four timbers for the width. Once you have cut your timbers in sizes, you want to build this uh, trellis now. For that you need a um, power drill and screws long enough to hold the timbers together. To keep it simple you want to build each side at a time. So this is what we did. We attach these two legs with this timber going across and we screwed it from the top here. So these two legs we screwed this timber with a screw on the top and then we cut this timber a little smaller to go inside the legs and we screwed it from outside and then we added this corner brace to make it strong and we screwed it from the bottom here. Once you have connected this side and you have made two of them which is one here and one here now you want to connect both sides using this timber on the top and this timber on the bottom. Now screw this top timber from the top and this timber should be cut slightly smaller so it can go inside the legs and screw it from the outside and that put corner brace to make it strong. And then you connect the other side to make it like a table. Now we also connected a timber in the middle to make it strong. Let's 
quite strong. Now, once you have made the base of the trellis, you want to put these trellis at the top. We bought them from our local um, garden centres. Uh, you can pick them up from DMQ or other garden centres. You can get there are bigger sizes, but because it couldn't fit in my car, I got them in small sizes. I needed about six of them. It would have been cheaper if I had one big piece. You can have that delivered uh, and it would, it would work out cheaper for you. Yes. Or if you prefer, you could um, put bamboo canes on the top and tie them. So once you have laid these panels on the top of the tray, top of the base, you want to screw them on to the actual base, otherwise it will be blown by the wind. Okay, so we're going to be planting our bottle gourd in this ground here, and we're going to be using um, bamboo canes uh, for the planter trail onto this trellis and I'm hoping uh, once we are planted in about three months time we will have plenty of long bottle gourd hanging down uh, from this trellis here yes dad I can't wait for that have a go at it it's not that difficult you just need to get your head around it but if you're not handy and you need something simple and easy Why not buy one of these metal arch trailers? They're not that expensive and you can buy them from Amazon. And they do the job well. So with this, with these metal trailers, they come in a flat pack and you screw them together. Wait. Screw them together. And um, you could, get, you, there's two of them here. So you could join two of them, tie them together to, to make a bigger trailer. Or you can you can even put three together to have ex extended bigger trailers. And I think uh, I bought them from Wilco. You bought these from Wilkinson, Dad. Wilkinson, and it was about twelve pound yeah. um, per trailers. So these are quite simple. Not so strong, but it will do the job. It does the job. It will do do the, do the job. Um, we normally grow our um, runner beans and flat beans on them or things like bitter gourd, snake gourd they're not that heavy but you could easily grow bottle gourd um, this year I'm going to try growing uh, those small apple bottle gourd on them they're not so heavy so I'm going to actually plant a apple gourd which is a hodu, round hodu and let that trail onto this trellis here and the, it should hold the weight. It's not that it's not that heavy. So you would have have to put strings, tie them, extra strings around it, so that uh, the plant can hold on to them. Or you could even uh, tie a bamboo cane on the side to give it extra support. Or you could buy something like this. Well, these are good if you're growing bitter gourd because bitter gourd doesn't grow that tall or snake gourd it shows up over here and and cucumbers we so grow cucumbers yeah this, so this is a good height for growing cucumbers and your bitter gourd snake gourd again you can buy them from amazon that's not it's not very expensive and this is you can also grow your um flat beans on them now this is very simple this is plastic mesh. You can buy them from Amazon or your local garden centers. You can hang them on your garden fence by using a stapler. And these are very simple, isn't it? Yeah. So you can um, hang them on your garden fence using staplers. And if you grow your hodo plant here, 
or your cucumbers or your bitter gourd and get them to climb onto the um, climb climb onto this um, mesh, 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 and they will work as a trellis. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please don't forget to like and share our videos with friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Asalaamu Alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one.